July 11, Saturday, Memorial of St. Benedict Abbot A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house Belzebul, how much more those of his household. Therefore do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both a soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted, so do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord do not be afraid. Three times in the gospel, we hear Jesus' admonition not to give in to fear. The disciples are advised not to fear because there is nothing concealed that will not be revealed. This means that the truth will ultimately triumph. Then in verse 28, Jesus says that the disciples should not fear the one who can cause a physical harm. Fear only the person who can cause spiritual destruction. Finally, Jesus notes in verse 31 that we can overcome our fears because we believe that God, our Father, takes care of us. Admittedly, we have our human difficulties, hesitancies, reservations, and worries. Yet this must not paralyze us from giving public witness to our faith. Jesus does not promise a cheap, facile, convenient faith to his disciples. Rather, he assures his personal presence amidst life's challenging realities. What keeps me from speaking out more aggressively against evil in society like murder, corruption, and immorality?